last night I was watching Tucker's show and uh, I saw a report about California and how Governor Newsom wants to uh, prioritize the distribution of the new COVID-19 vaccine to uh, poor minorities. And of course, Tucker's focus was on, you know, this is just uh, ethnic politics, uh, identity politics run wild. This is, this is a crazy approach. But that wasn't the first thing that popped into my mind. The first thing that popped into my mind was, oh my God, if Donald Trump had adopted that same policy, they'd call him a racist. Let me explain. One could say that I'm like a poster child for COVID-19. I'm soon to be 69 years old, almost 70, for those of you who are slow at math. Uh, I had a kidney transplant last year, which means twice a day I take drugs that basically suppress my immune system so that my body doesn't reject the kidney. What that means is I have a very poor, weak immune system, which makes me susceptible to any number of things. I'm not allowed to eat like raw, uh, uh, you know, clams or oysters or anything like that, shellfish. And there's all kinds of things I'm supposed to avoid that are, you know, buffets, no buffets, anything like that. And, you know, I can catch anything that comes down the road because my immune system is suppressed. So that makes me, between that and my age, susceptible to COVID-19. I'm one of those people who are, you know, highly likely to die if they catch it. That said, I am all not that eager to get the vaccine. Now, now, I don't mean to imply that I don't trust the Trump administration or I don't trust the pharmaceutical companies. It's, it's nothing sinister like that. It's just, I've been around almost 69 years. I know how things work. I mean, things may work in a lab. Things may work in an, in an you know, auto test drive. Uh, things may work in, in any number of fields. But we have these things called recalls. You know, I, I'm, we have a Samsung refrigerator that's wonderful, but the damn things, the, the ice makers just don't work. I mean, they worked in the factory, they worked in the design, they worked in the testing, but when you put them out in the field and you have, you know, hundreds of thousands of people using these things, problems develop. You know, I have a, a, a relatively, a, a new car, it's a, it's a 2020, it's been recalled three times. I mean, there were things, nothing major, but little things that they thought they had the bugs worked out. Turns out they didn't. We've seen drug recalls, you know, car recalls, anything, software recalls. Oh, yeah, Windows Windows works fine. Let's release it. But next thing you know, three days later, there's a, a bug fix. Or uh, Apple, you know, will release a new iOS. And two days later, there's a bug fix. Or they released the iPhone 6. Remember the iPhone 6? Oh, it's so slim. It's wonderful. You know, it's no problem. Next thing you know, they're bending all over the place. Or the Samsungs with the batteries that, that caught fire, exploded. <laughs> you know, all these things look good in a lab, but you start using them not on, you know, hundreds or thousands of people, but on hundreds of thousands or millions of people. And things sometimes go wrong early on until they work the bugs out. So from my point of view, I was not all that eager to be at the front of the line to get the COVID-19 vaccine. My view was, you know, I hope they don't push me to get it because they often do. And if you're, you know, part of a transplant operation, you have to get everything that they tell you to get or you get kicked out and you'll die. So I was hoping you know, if I could dodge it for a couple of months before uh, they make me get it because who knows? What's going to happen when they started giving it to instead of thousands or tens of thousands of people, you know, hundreds of thousands or millions of people? Lord knows what's going to pop up. And again, I'm not suggesting anything sinister of, oh, they've rushed it or anything like that. That's not my point. My point is it's just the nature of things. You know, something works fine in a demonstration with a thousand people, and then you send it out to a million people, and you're going to find problems that you never thought about before that develop because everybody's different, everybody reacts different. And, and you just don't know until you actually do it. In, this, in that sense, with any kind of a new product, whether it's a, 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 an appliance, a computer, a phone, uh, or a vaccine, any kind of new drug, 
the early users are essentially guinea pigs. If, if you do a lot of stuff on computers, you know. I mean, a lot of people won't download new versions until the bugs have been worked out because they don't want to have it mess up their productivity. So, you know, if you use, a, you know, a, a, an editing program for your videos for YouTube and they, they have a new version, if you can avoid downloading it, sometimes you'll do. You wait a couple of weeks to see what other people, problems people have. So that's sort of my approach to this. That said, when Newsom is sitting there saying, well, well we're going to prioritize giving this to poor people of color, I thought, oh, my God. You know, what if they, it turns out there are problems with the vaccine, that they need to adjust it or rethink it or change the dosage level? You know, who is going to pay the price for this? Who are the guinea pigs here? Because basically what Newsom is saying is, well, we, we, we've rushed this vaccine to production. And we're, we're, you know, we're pretty sure it's okay. But if it's not, if we need to fiddle with the dosage, dosage levels or things like that, well, we're going to test it on black people. I mean, basically, that's what they're saying out there. And that's why, you know, when I'm watching this, I'm watching Tucker last night, and I was reading some stories this morning, Sacramento Bee and some others who are covering it. My first thought was, my God, can you imagine if Trump came out and said this? Can you imagine if Donald Trump came out and said, well, we've got this vaccine, but you know what? I think we ought to try it on black and brown people first. There would be, you know, people would be accusing him of racism. Why does he want to use black and brown people as guinea pigs? He's afraid to give it to white people. He's such a racist. You know, Donald Trump is a racist. His supporters are all racist. You know, Mike Palmer's a racist. I mean, that's what we would be having here. But here's basically Gavin Newsom saying, you know, we have this, this thing that's been rushed into production. So we're going to test it on people of color. You know, they're going to be our guinea pigs. And, and God forbid, if something's not right with this thing, you know, the people are going to pay the price. I mean, but, but you know, maybe it's just how my mind works. I don't know. But I really do believe, you know, sincerely, that if Donald Trump had come out, the Trump administration come out and said, you know, we know that people of color die at higher rates than whites. So we're going to, we're going to give them priority. People would immediately accuse them of, of using black people and brown people as guinea pigs. CNN would be, that would be their report. MSNBC, that would be their report. But it's Gavin Newsom. He's a progressive. Oh, you know, he's just, he feels for the, the people of color. I just hope to hell that there aren't serious ramifications from giving this out this early. And that, you know, uh, people of color who already bear a lot of burdens in this country don't have to bear that one, too. I hope they're not being used as guinea pigs. But it's my view that whoever is taking this early on is a guinea pig. And that's why, even though I'm very susceptible to COVID-19, I prefer, you know, I've, I've survived this long. I, I would really like to wait three months just to see what happens when they start deploying this thing on the mass level. I'd really like to know, is it just me or are some of the other, some of the others out there watching this video who, who saw those reports, maybe you saw Tucker last night or read it in the news this morning, did the same thing come to you or, or is it just me? Anyway, let me know in a comment. Uh, you have any reaction to this, let me know in a comment. If you like the video, got something out of it, give it a thumbs up, if not give it a thumbs down, share the video with your friends, subscribe to the channel if you can. Uh, hit the notification button so you'll know when I post new videos. And until the next time, uh, maybe Dodge taking <laughs> taking the COVID-19 uh, vaccine for three months. At least that's, that's what I hope to do. And other than that, keep fighting.